You're watching Yugen TV RPG Haven. Experience a fantasy like no other. Hey guys, it's Moogalore here and I'm back again with another video and today we're going to talk about Final Fantasy XIV because over the weekend Square Enix had a special event for Final Fantasy XIV from all over the world and they went to pretty much reveal their newest expansion pack that's supposed to release fall of this year, 2021 and the name of this expansion is called Endwalker. Now, from the hints of it and what they've been alluding to in this trailer, it seems as though they may be wrapping up the Final Fantasy XIV storyline altogether. So this could pretty much mean that they could be ending pretty much this MMO. I really want to talk more about that at the end of everything that I describe um, the trailer and what we can expect. And then I just want to give you my overall thoughts where they could be moving forward with the Final Fantasy MOO um, games. So for starters, the trailer, I must say, is gorgeous. They always seem to pretty much one up themselves each and every time a new expansion trailer comes out is they always have new visuals and it always seems like they up in the ante especially after seeing final fantasy 16 which is everyone is looking forward to and this pretty much uh has that type of vibe to it in a way as well and also as i said before when it comes to these trailers we always can expect to get a rough idea what what we can expect from the lore, new characters as we introduced to the game, and also some hints of some potential jobs. And that's what this trailer pretty much did as far as jobs are concerned. And from looking at the trailer, we are getting some new jobs. Now, so far we only have an idea or they only revealed one job so far, which is the Sage job. Now, Final Fantasy 14 fans are going berserk or they're going through like a, a speculation phase right now is because the, from what we understand right now is the save job is a new healing type of job and they're saying that this can pretty much change uh, or shake up the healing jobs um, in this upcoming patch in this new expansion which I guess you could say it is a good thing. Now I've played Final Fantasy 14. I own Final Fantasy 14 both on my PC, the PS4 and of course if you guys don't know they made an announcement that also Final Fantasy 14 is coming to the PS5, which they'll be doing a beta pretty soon around um, April. So stay tuned for that, and I'll pretty much make a video to give details on that. But I've only played up to Heaven's Ward, and still at the very beginning to Heaven's Ward, so I never really got a chance to experience what this game really, really has to offer. I'm still playing through it, and I've been playing on and off because with MMOs, you really have to dedicate your time and spend time with it. So me, my brother Kiel Lancer, and DX Strike, we're still playing it. And we about to hop back into it, especially after looking at this trailer. And also in the trailer, it also hinted the main character, the protagonist of these these expansion trailers, him walking on the moon. Now, when I look at that part and that aspect of the trailer, it kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy IV. If you guys didn't play Final Fantasy IV, which is a really good classic uh, mainline Final Fantasy game um, where the main protagonist is named Cecil. And one of the main plots of the game um, takes the party members, Cecil and the party members, up to the moon. And when I look at that, that's what it reminds me of. And looking at the, um, some of the high-tech, you know, aircrafts that they have, it looks like space travel may be a thing, like, as far as, like, dungeons are concerned or where the story is going to lead the players. So I can't wait to see what type of dungeons and what type of environments that they're going to introduce uh, when it comes um, to that in that regards. Now, we want to step into what they described so far that the expansion is going to have. Now, this is only just at the surface. We will find out more to what they're going to introduce in this expansion. So first, we have Journey to um, Daphnir, the Emperor Capital of Jeromod, and even the Moon. And then, of course, we have new jobs, and it says that Sages isn't going to be the only job that's going to be introduced in this expansion pack, which I'm super, super happy. Now, as far as what jobs that I want to see in this game, I really don't know. Um, because, like I said, I'm right now I'm a paladin. I leveled up. My, I'm leveling my paladin and my dark knight. I love tank jobs. And I love. Uh, that's just how I am when it comes to these type of um, MMO RPGs. I'm always the tank, so I've been just focusing on those two jobs. And I just recently unlocked samurai as well so i do want to try samurai at some point because i i was originally a samurai in final fantasy 11 so i definitely want to give that job out i'll give that job a try but anyway so it seemed like sage is the first job that they revealed so far and they show off and from the looks of it it's very it looks very high tech 
with the technology and everything especially the way this universe is when it comes to the magic and the sci-fi-ness that it has to it which it, this job looks really really cool now would this job like stick out to me and make me want to try it i may test it out but healing type jobs and everything like that support jobs are just not my type of thing when it comes to mmos but i may definitely give it a try so the level cap increases from level 80 to 90 and i remember during the final fantasy 11 days where the level cap was 75 and then they raised it to, to 99 by the time i got to the Ultagon expansion pack and it just took a long time to even get to 75 and then they added more <laughs> Uh, job levels to that and I was like you know what I'm done <laughs> but that's cool from 80 to 90 and then the expansive new areas including uh Jarl Mod, Davnir and the city of Rad's Atheim so that is going to be a new uh, city area just like every expansion pack always have that one big uh location that most of the story will take place in where you get most of this your quest most of your main story missions from so I guess that would be pretty much the location also we have a new tribe called the uh, Arcus Sodora, so that's a new tribe added to it. New threats, including Anima, new dungeons, uh, secrets revealed in a new Alliance Raid series, new small scale PvP modes. And the thing is, it seems like they've really been trying to like amp things up with the um, PvP, especially for players who who are into the, to the PvP aspects to MMO RPGs. And I never really had the chance to really play any PvPs, much P PvPs in MMO RPGs. I did try the Ballista back in the day. On Final Fantasy 11 and you know I wasn't really I really didn't have the right equipment wasn't at the right levels at the time and always got bodied and I wasn't really like I guess you say really helping out the team I was like the weakest link of the team but I'd definitely like to try PvP and hopefully they done things to balance it out or to to appease that crowd you know and then of course an additional trust ally which is Ennistine um, Wormblood they add added that character a new residential district in Ishgard cool Updates to the Golden Saucer, relaxing fun in Island Sanctuary, new gear and crafting recipes, expanded horizon via the data center travel system. So there's a ton of things that we can pretty much look forward to in Final Fantasy um, 14 um, in Walker expansion pack. And before I even close this out, I just want to give you my opinions of where I think this could, where this may go, because it seems like they're hinting at the possibility that this could be the final story, the final expansion that's going to close out the Final Fantasy 14 experience. So they already done so much. This game has been out for quite some time now. Was it almost what eight, ten years now? If I can remember, forgive me if I can't. I can't remember when this game launched. It's been so long, but this game been out for a very long time. And normally when that happens, and when they begin to close, um, they been to begin to end things with their final expansion. They pretty much want to start looking forward to what they're going to do with a new potential. Final Fantasy MMORPGs and it seems like there's some hints of how they do these MMOs as far as the main when you numbering these MMOs because you have Final Fantasy 11 and then of course we have Final Fantasy 12 and then we had 13 and then we had 14 and now we have 15 and then 16 was just announced so my guess is that Final Fantasy 17 will be the next um, MMORPG because it seems like every two Final Fantasy games, there may be a potential Final Fantasy um, MMO. And I think that Final Fantasy 17 may be the next MMO RPG. Now, how would they go about it? I don't know. Maybe there's some hints within that we can find within Final Fantasy 14 online. Because I talked to a lot of veteran players and people who have been playing Final Fantasy 14 for some time. And even from the times I just started playing Final Fantasy 14, what, for the, like three years now? I've been just playing on and off in three years, but uh, 14 uh, gameplay and its mechanics isn't quite the same when it started with the relaunch of A Realm Reborn compared to what it is now. And from what I've been talking to with a lot of veteran players, it seems like they're trying to make it feel more of an action RPG. Because if you notice, Final Fantasy VII Remake is pretty much um, action based RPG now with the combos, free movement and you know spacing you uh you can interact with the guard system and and everything of that sort even though they have an atb meter there you still can free roam and have free control of your character's movement and combat and then of course final fantasy 15 is became an action rpg and it seemed like 14 has been experimenting quite a bit 
um, with their gameplay mechanics, removing certain you know aspects of how you input your commands, and it seemed like they're trying to go with this whole freeform or this whole action RPG aspect. So if 14 gives us any hints from some of the changes that they've been doing with the gameplay mechanics within uh, Final Fantasy 14, there could be a hint that Final Fantasy 17 could go more action RPG based, and you know, so it seemed like that this could be the case with the next MMORPG. Now Yoshida and his team, it, it, it seemed like they may be at the helm of Final Fantasy uh, for a uh, potential Final Fantasy new MMORPG. Uh, even though I know that his team, his the business unit uh, is two, is working on Final Fantasy 16, but I believe that their team has become so expansive that they could be working on a new MMO at the same time, which Yoshida kind of like hinted um, at what he would like to do if he made another MMO RPG in the direction that he would like to, it for uh, for it to go. So who knows when we're what may lie ahead for a, a potential new uh, Final Fantasy MMO. But I think, in my opinion, that they may be going more action um, RPG oriented than your typical, you know, mouse click, you know, button clicks uh, for commands to happen on screen. Or it could be a mixture. Of the both to satisfy both fans who knows but i definitely want to hear your thoughts what do you think about final fantasy uh, 14 in walker expansion what do you think about the new sage class what do you think about the potential of what this class may offer to the game and what other classes are what you expect or what you would like to see um in this upcoming expansion do you really think this is the, the final expansion for final fantasy 14 and if there is a potential new final fantasy mmo coming out what number do you think it's going to be and what would you like to see uh, as far as gameplay mechanics is concerned? So if you like the video, make sure you subscribe or follow. And um, I'll be seeing you game fiends later. This is Mugen Lord signing off. Peace out.